Welcome back guys. We're here with none other than Bob Allen in the studio and today we wanted to talk a little bit about the 2023 economy. Everybody says there's going to be a crash. You know, you've got Ukraine, you've got interest rates, you've got stocks that are overinflated. What's happening, Bob? What What is your take and should we be worried about it? Ordinary people should be worried about it. If you got a job, yes, you should be worried. If you're an entrepreneur, you should be excited. You should go, whoa, this forces people to sell their real estate at much, much better terms. Frankly, what the way you kind of solve that problem is you say to you, remember what real estate prices when they were just skyrocketing and everybody, you couldn't sell it, the prices were going up and up and up. Well, people still got that stuck in their mind and they're still thinking they're going to get those kinds of prices, but you can't get those prices any longer unless you can say to them, if you want to give me better terms, I'll give you your price. In other words, you carry some financing, make it little or no money down for me, I'll give you last year's price, and therefore you get in with little or no money down. Hey, it's just, it, there's just so many ways of making this, this so-called uh, fear of recession into excitement about making money. A lot of people are like waiting for houses to crash, right? They're waiting for the prices to go down. Are you saying like now it's already a buyer's market and yeah. you should already be getting into that? Yeah, the, the higher the, pro, the real estate uh, interest rates go, the lower the value of your home. And if the value of your home is going down, most people are trying to stop it. That's why you want them to feel like fear of missing out, fear of missing out on all these prices that are going out there. Therefore, you just say to them, I'll give you your price. You don't have to miss out any longer, but you gotta give me my terms, which is little or no money down. Maybe you give me money to buy your property. Have you ever thought of that before? Give me $5,000 to take this property off your hands and I'll give you your price. Well, this is my time. This is called creative financing. This is the time we wait for. I've been waiting for a time like this for the last 10 years. So I'm in big time. <laughs> so for those who think that there is like a bigger crash coming, what would you say to them? Um, are, should you wait, should you hold cash reserves or is, is it only gonna get worse from here? That's a really good question. Yes, cash reserves for better deals. But remember, there are better deals available right now. It, you don't have to wait for the general market to soften. You look for a specific tenant who has a specific problem right now and is willing to lower the price right now or give you better terms right now. Regardless of what economy we're in, there are always those specific situations where I get to negotiate a wholesale price or wholesale terms, no matter what is going on. It's just that there are more of them available now than there were two years ago. You know, two years ago, there were fewer highly motivated sellers, but now there are a whole lot more. So we're excited about that. So in general, I guess your advice is don't worry about the FUD in the market, the fear, the doubt, the uncertainty, just find the deal. Like, don't worry about the macro trends. Just focus on your market and do your best to perform in whatever market you're in. Exactly. It's uh, don't worry about macro, worry about micro. Uh, that's exactly the way to describe it. Awesome. Micro is where all the money's made. <laughs> <laughs> and what are the biggest markets that you're currently investing in? Well, uh, uh, people always say that the three fundamental ways of making money in real estate are location, location, location. That's wrong. It's really, what are the, what's the highly motivated seller? That's what I'm looking for. And frankly, using all kinds of software, I can go across the entire United States and I find the, high, the most highly motivated sellers wherever they are. It, it doesn't really matter. As the market softens nationwide, I get really, really highly motivated sellers in any city I want to look, frankly. I used to say that a beginning investor should never invest outside of 50 miles of their own home. Today, that is not true you can invest with 1,500 miles away from your own home. Just be careful. Just, you have the right system, right strategies, you'll be okay. That's awesome. So it's not, it's not the right market, it's not the right location, it's the right seller. The right seller. Quite frankly. Uh, absolutely. That's the awesome. right seller. Uh, and most realtors won't tell you that. They'll try to sell you a retail piece of real estate from a property that's beautiful, all fixed up and gorgeous, you know, like you could move into it, your dream home. Don't buy your dream home. You buy your dream home when you're so rich, you, 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 it's a blip on the screen for your, for, for your down payments. You wanna buy a basic, ordinary home as an investor and, and don't pay retail. Don't let the realtor sell you a retail piece of real estate. Realtors are retail-oriented. Retail we don't do that. Wholesale. Wholesale is the number. 
Awesome. Thank you so much, Bob, for these nuggets of wisdom. And we hope to see you guys in the next one. If you want to learn more about Bob and the way that you can creatively finance deals, check out this book, The Challenge. Click the link below and you can get a free copy shipped to you. We'll see you on the next one.